There's various different stages of business that people rarely ever talk about, okay? The first stage we're gonna be talking about today is the investment stage. And this is usually the stage that knocks entrepreneurs off their feet and a lot of people quit in this stage, which is why today we're talking about what that looks like, what the investment phase looks like and how to keep pushing through. We're gonna talk through some mindset things, also some practical things to help you get through this phase and really just learn through this process and fully embrace the stage of your business. So let's chat. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea. If you guys are new, if you guys are returning, What's up, welcome back. So today we're talking about again, like the different stages of business, really particularly the first stage of business that we're gonna talk about where that really knocks a lot of people off of their feet, okay? So whenever I first started, I literally invested $12,000 into a coaching program to teach me how to create a bomb group coaching program, all right? I'm gonna be honest, I did the payment plan. I have a, my whole story on that actually in a separate video that I will put up here for you right there that details out what that looked like, how I did it and stuff like that. At the time I did not have $12,000, but I decided to jump out on faith and figure out a different way. And there's, that's a whole nother lesson, a whole nother, whole nother sermon right there is figuring out a way instead of using different excuses. But I invested $12,000 in the, in the beginning stage of my business. I had never made, I, I never had $12,000 in my bank account at one time. I'm not gonna say I never made $12,000 because I had, but anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so I took time, invested that, and in that phase, it was freaking scary. I literally had to pray over the decision, which I need to do anyway, but I prayed over the decision and decided to jump out in faith, and honestly, it worked. And it's one of those things that I literally invested $12,000 to then make $30,000 in that first year of that investment, okay? And it's one of those things that it was scary because there is no actual like, this will happen if you buy this. That's not how it works. You're in an investment phase and you have to, you have to decide to actually go out and get the results that you want to get by doing the work that is required, right? So it's something that you have to trust yourself. You have to be willing to do the work and you have to like know that, that that person that you're investing in will actually help you get to that next stage. Let's talk about the, the period between the 12 and the 30K, okay? I will say 30K is continuously building as we've gone on. So I did that coaching program last year and I've made far more than that since then, if that makes any sense. And so that was just in that first year of that investment. Okay, so anyway, between the, the, between the 12,000 and the 30,000 period, there was a big gap of me figuring out, okay, how do I actually implement this? How do I make the money you know, back? How do I get these payment plans rocking and stuff like that? And I didn't realize I was in the investment phase. I didn't realize that, okay, Andrea, at this point right now, you're in the, you're in the phase of business where you need to invest in order to drastically increase the timing of what you're gonna get to your actual goal. If you keep trying to do it on your own, it's not gonna work all the way out in terms of the timing that you wanted to do it. So you need to, inve you need to invest in order to accelerate um, your actual growth that you wanted. So that's the stage that I was in, okay? Okay, so now what we're gonna do, now that you kinda know my backstory and what I was even talking about and where I'm kinda coming from, I'm now gonna walk you through some mindset tips as well as some practical things. Um, Cause I love mindset, but I love action steps too. So we're gonna walk through both of those in order to help you throughout this phase. Another piece of clarification, just in case it's, it wasn't very clear, is that the investment phase, you usually are spending more than you're making. Then the second stage is normally that's the fact that you are investing a good amount, but you're like breaking even with the amount that's coming back into your business. The third stage is, you know, you may be investing here and there, but the, the revenue amount is so far above that, you can't even really tell if that makes any sense. So we're talking about stage one here. If y'all want stage two and three later, let me know, but we're gonna just jump into phase one here, okay? So here's some mindset things for you. Okay, so number one is something that I wish people or not necessarily people would have told me because they did, but more so that I would have listened to it and actually taken it to heart. But step one or thing one, whatever, number one is to not compare where I am to someone else's you know, chapter 30, say I'm on chapter two or three and someone else is on chapter 30 and I'm over here comparing myself to where they are, why I can't be there, what you're trying to do all that, all those things. When there's a whole bunch of other chapters in between there that I'm missing that I haven't done yet and that it, 
it's yeah it just hasn't happened yet and maybe that's not even the path that i'm supposed to be taking if that makes sense so that would be the first thing i would say is really like stay focused on your own lane and and go all the way in on it like seriously go all the way in and i've been challenging myself with a lot of other things in my life to go all the way in on various different things like don't try to do it all i'm an enneagram three and i sometimes i can think oh my god i can conquer the world all in one thing and it's like no you can't <laughs> it's okay no you can't but you can be really really good at mastering one to two things and going all the way in on that and so if you are similar to me on that then i definitely encourage you to to really hone in on the season of business that you're in now i will say this part too is even breaking down into the different phases we talked about let's talk about seasons. so the different seasons for example is like right now within our business we are in a visibility season we're on a we're in a visibility like be seen type of actual season okay there's a building season there's a foundational season there's like a back end cleanup season there's all these different things but like it really depends on where you're at within your business too so just as you're assessing all this kind of think through that like where am i right now do i need leads and clients do i need to get my back in right am i trying to go evergreen what does that look like how do i do that am i in product production mode like where are you and really focus on that thing instead of feeling like you have to do it all okay okay so number two the second thing i would say in terms of mindset is to mind the process like follow the process and allow the process to happen when i tell you guys i tried to avoid the process for so long because i was like oh my god it's taking too long Ugh, and i was so annoyed but it's one of those things where where i've learned so much about myself because of how i challenged myself in the process how i grinded during the process how i hustled during the process right so it's so many different things that i learned about myself that i now know like i feel like i can do anything really if i just put my mind to it like i seriously believe that i can do whatever i want to do like i believe that like wholeheartedly it's, it can happen if i want it to of course like i don't want to forget to mention this is of course paired up with god and god's will in prayer which we're gonna get into in a little bit but seriously like i have this mindset now that based on what i've done in the past based on the things that i've overcome in the past the systems I've built the um, the private training that I have that literally took me forever like it is so valuable and it has helped so many people but me getting through that training oh my god it was a doozy putting it all together recording it making sure it was good refining it all these different things and so like that's just an example but all the different things that i've done that have led me to this point has really helped to build me as a person as a business owner and that's something within our program infinite audience that i really pride myself on i'm like listen yes we will transform your marketing and your business and help you thrive within your within your business but we're also going to help you thrive as a business owner as an entrepreneur you know i want you to walk out with a whole different mindset too knowing that you can do x y and z that it's not just something you just kind of copy and paste of a thing teaching you how to think instead of just what to do that's something i would say for number two is not skipping the process and allowing the process to happen and embracing every second of it i'd also say journal like journal as you're in that phase because one day you're not going to be in that phase you're not if you keep pushing through remember this is the phase that knocks people out you guys so keep pushing through okay okay so number three when it comes to mindset is to be in prayer over your business be in prayer over yourself as an entrepreneur and that business owner and be in prayer over your business goals okay it's very very important it's something that i find myself that i can forget a lot of the times that like yo andrea like god was the one that gave you this idea god was the one that gave you this business so why do you think you can do it without him type of thing and so anyway that's just something i encourage you guys to do if you are people of faith if you are christians which i know a lot of you guys are so just wanted to be sure to mention that as it's very important this thing is not easy and it's this glamorized thing on social media and that's all great but there's this is the phase and this is why i wanted to emphasize this this like investment phase is a phase that like i said breaks people it causes people to doubt whether or not god even placed this vision in their heart in the first place if this is something they even need to do all that stuff and they're like uh, mm, i don't know if i want to do that anymore or whatever and that's why i'm saying you guys like push through this season if you know that god gave you this business if you know that god wants you to be doing what you're doing within your business within your brand all that stuff then I highly encourage you to keep pushing through and also pray through it too. Don't just feel like you have to do it in your own strength. Okay, so now onto the practical part, okay? 
So when it comes to, like I said, I love mindset, but I love action steps too. I love them both. You need to have them both. So first thing I would say in terms of being practical is I have a detailed video on the practicality of what we're about to talk about right here. And I will put it up here. It'll also be in the cards for you to check out. So be sure you check out this video. It's amazing and it goes in depth with what we're gonna talk about right now. We're kind of just gonna skim over the different points right now since so this video isn't too long. But step number one here in the practical section is to get visible. No one can buy from you, honey, if they don't know you exist, if they've never seen you before, if they've never seen you online, if they, be visible, okay? Figure out what people are doing to get visible. You guys know I love me some YouTube. It is the number one social media platform for searchability, for just amazingness, okay? So get on YouTube, big time. If you want to get visible, get on YouTube. Also, get on Instagram Reels. Um, get on TikTok, get on just different places that vibe well with you to figure out what's going to work for you and your business to get visible. You just sitting around and you built it and you're hoping and praying people come, that's nice. Praying about it is the first step, but you gotta put some action to it, okay? You gotta, you gotta put some wheels to your car. So I definitely say get visible and actually use a platform that will help you do this in a very quick way. You not posting to social media is not an option if you are not doing paid ads. If you are not doing paid ads, you must be bodying your organic content if you want to see um, what the actual results to manifest within your business and to actually get the sales, get the clients, and get the leads that you want within your business, okay? Number two is to identify your target audience. I'm not gonna go into detail here about this, but check out this video right here on how to nail down your target audience, how to get to know who they are, know what they like, all that stuff. Check out this video right up here but get to know your target audience and make content for that target person that they are looking for, that they're searching for, that will help them out. It's like, do them a favor and put your video right in front of them, okay? Help them out. Number three is be sure your foundation is good, but I also say this as a caveat, like don't over perfect your foundation that you're not spending any time actually marketing and getting visible, okay? So your foundation needs to be pretty good and pretty solid. So if you have not fully built out what it is that you're offering, you can still be getting visible as you are doing this, but I just want to say, it is very important to have certain aspects set up before you go out and do this, like email funnels and email freebies and evergreen marketing funnels from social media, all these different things that we talk about in my signature program and more information is down below for that if you're interested. But just be sure you're actually having your back end really well and that your systems and your funnels will be working well as well. But again, like I said, don't focus so much on the back end that you're not focusing anything on your marketing and your sales of your business, especially within this phase. When you are in investment phase, you need to be finding ways to get more income, okay? To sustain yourself while you're in this phase until you move on to phase number two. Okay, so number four in the practical step is to be patient and have grace for yourself in your business, okay? And when I say that, be willing to research, to try something, to throw that away, try something else, now it works then implement, do research, repeat, be willing to kind of be like a scientist, to be like, in, like to allow certain things to be experiments as you're going through it. Some things are not gonna work for you and they worked for you know Sarah right next to you. Some things that don't work for Sarah will work for you. And so anyway, you're gonna have to do a lot of experimenting and doing a lot of like recycling and repeating on what's working. Once you find what works, double down on that and go all in on that thing. But just know in this phase, most likely, you're gonna have to figure out what's working for you and the only way to do that is by you personally implementing those things within your business, okay? You can hire a coach, which will, again, like I said, will drastically, like for me, it drastically helps me and for my clients, it drastically helps them as well within our program. However, it's one of those things like, I can lead you to the water, but I can't make you drink it. Nor will I necessarily try to at this point, to be very honest with you, because I want you to feel the, ne the, the necessity to drink the water yourself and to do the work to get the results that you want to have, okay? So at the end of the day, be patient, be willing, be flexible to make changes, to not just be stuck on one thing. And I know this can be very hard for a lot of people. It was hard for me too. Um, and sometimes, shoot, it's still hard, but it's all right. Like it's one of those things like you have to be flexible. You have to be willing to try things. You have to be willing to not allow things to work and to fail, but be sure when you fail, you fail forward, learn a lesson and keep moving. That's a part of business. It's a part of this thing. If you're afraid of failure, 
you need to get out of the game because something's going to happen that just doesn't work and that's okay. Anyway, I want you guys to know something really quick that you're not alone in this. Like I've struggled through this, through this phase. I have a lot of business friends that have struggled through this phase. There's a lot of online entrepreneurs that you see that you would never even know they struggled through this phase at all, but I can guarantee you there was that phase, okay? So you're not alone if you're at this place. I want you to know that I am rooting for you. I am celebrating you and I am so freaking proud of you and again, it's going to be hard, but it's okay because hard is not a prerequisite for keeping going, for keep moving, okay? So you got this, I'm rooting for you, we're all rooting for you, and I will see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. I'm so uh, okay.